Story 1, Delhi. Dimple Chadha is presented as a spoiled brat since her father Suresh Chadha is the creator of Chadha Industries, a huge finance company in Delhi. Dimple is used to meeting her boyfriend, Sunny Singh secretly. The two party all night. And one day, eventually Dimple passes out of alcohol. Sunny then drops her home and faces her parents before wandering off. He breaks into a bungalow nearby and starts to throw stones on windows claiming it was part of his family inheritance and consequently is chased by the residents. Later he explains to Dimple that the bungalow actually belongs to his father, who died shortly before, and was encroached by tenants. But he gets taxed. Dimple convinces her father to help him but he tries to make profit out of it by buying the property at less valuation. Her father claims later as if he had fooled Sunny big time. Though he is later arrested when the police claims that the family living there had a stay order. And that he entered there with no permission. Dimple realizes she has been conned. And starts to cry out loud. Then. Sunny is spotted in an airport leaving for Mumbai. With the RS. 20 lakhs which he receives as an advance from Dimple, S. Father. Uddharan. Story 2. Mumbai. Rana Parulekar is a businesswoman in Mumbai who is paranoid about everything. She has been ordered by her boss to deliver an M. F. Hussain painting. Which is sold out everywhere. She meets Devon Shah who presumably owns an art gallery that comprises the painting she needs. Rena fails to identify the fake painting and she contacts Devon for the M. F. Hussein over the phone. And he acts to be the owner of the painting and sells it to Rena. She gives R.S. 60 lakhs to Devon but later her boss realizes it's a fake. And fires her immediately. She expresses her story of being conned by a man named Devon Shah to the media which spreads like wildfire. This news is seen by Dimple and suspects that maybe Devon Shah could be Sunny and they may have been conned by the same person. Uddharan Chene. Story 3. Lucknow. A young widow named Saira Rashid calls Rana and explains her story of being conned by a person. Named Iqbal Khan into giving away R.S. 10 lakhs through her father-in-law and duping his garment business. Uddharan. Story 4. Goa and Beyond. Rena calls over Dimple and Saira to Mumbai. Where they make a plan. Locate and con the man who conned them and name him. Bloody Kamina. B.K. Uddharan. To trace B.K. They use his ringtone clue to find his name as Diego Vaz from Goa. They hire a saleswoman, Ishika Desai to act like a millionaire heiress. Ishika Patel, who wants to open a restaurant chain in India with the help of the bloody Kamina, so that if he invested money in the restaurant, they could sneakily steal the money and escape, thus ruining the BK. The four Devas set out to Goa. And start their trap. The BK slowly starts falling into it. But he never realizes he is being conned. Ishaka says she can t con him anymore because they love each other. And the BK has no clue of it. Dimple begins to argue loudly with her and is overheard by Vikram Thapar who was waiting outside. The door for Ishaka. Uddharan. He is heartbroken and realizes the pain he gave to everyone when he conned them but still out of ego-driven vengeance. He makes a plan to con the four girls. He himself originally purchases a swamp worth Rs. 3 lakh and as the con blows it cost to 90 lakhs. All girls blame Ishaka for cheating and take their anger out on her. The three now return home. Only to find Vikram Thapar. Ranveer Singh, sitting in their garden, with the R.S. 1 crow. He explains why he came back, and that he didn't feel good about conning the girl he truly loved, and that the four girls have changed him into now becoming an honest and decent man. He returns the money he stole from them and leaves. Uddharan Chene.
The girls realize the love Ishaka has for Vikram and reunite them. He proposes to her but Ishaka asks his real name. To which he reveals himself as Ricky Bal. And the story ends with a kiss. As the three girls leave. Uddharan.